Since you clicked on this video, I'm guessing that you just joined Gary's Mod Train Build and have no idea what you're doing. You see other people's locomotives and rolling stock and think, that looks easy. And then you look back at your build and it looks like this. If you're wondering how to improve your builds, you've come to the right place. I'm going to give you a short and sweet tutorial that won't be physically unwatchable. Now let's get started, shall we? There are many locomotive models to choose from in the queue menu. One good rule to live by is to never build a steamer as a first engine, or else the end result may look like this. So let's just start with a diesel first since they're much easier to assemble. I'll be building an EMD F40PH for this tutorial, but you can choose anything you want. If you want your locomotive to be as cosmetically accurate as possible, a reference image would be a good start. Accessories such as WireMod E2 codes can be found on GitHub and are easily downloadable. Locomotive trucks, or bogies if you're on the other side of the pond, can be applied on the bottom of the locomotive with the access tool. Just look for the white targets underneath. They tell you where the trucks are supposed to go. And another thing, please research before applying locomotive trucks. You probably don't want freight car trucks on locomotive. In Gary's Mod, people normally use the welding tool for building large, janky contraptions. So judging by this, it must mean the same applies to train build servers, right? <laughs> Wrong! Welds take up things called constraints, which if there are enough of, it can cause the server to rubber band and even crash. On train build, we normally use a tool called multi-parent, where you can select different props and apply them all to one single prop without the use of constraints. You probably just looked at the settings on the tool and thought, oh geez, this looks too hard. Trust me, it's as easy as one, two, three. First, you set the tool settings to what is listed on screen. Next, you select the props you would like to parent by left clicking them. The props you have selected parent will turn green. This on the screen right now is a list of props you should not multi-parent. And finally, you select the base prop, which is the locomotive itself, by right-clicking the engine. If you would like to unparent props to recolor or edit them, you use the unmulti-parent tool using the same steps. Congratulations! You just learned how to multi-parent. Now wasn't that simple? Wiring is probably the hardest part to learn at first, which is understandable if you use the thruster to propel your trains at first. I'm going to thoroughly go through this, so bear with me. First, you get a pod controller from the Wiremon tab. You then link said pod controller to the seat, which you would control your train from by left clicking the pod controller and the seat. If a message like this pops up in the bottom right of your screen, you have done it correctly. For this next part, you will need an Expression 2 code called Optimize Locomotive Control. Once you have the chip, you can save it to your Expression 2 codes and place it on the back of your locomotive. Next, you grab your wire tool in the wire mod tab and point it at the E2. You probably see five or six different things to wire. Only wire active, W, S, and space to the pod controller by right clicking each option one at a time and then right clicking the pod controller twice. CONGRATULATIONS! You have just successfully wired a locomotive. But, there are some last minute precautions you might want to make before you hit the rails. Here is a list of last minute changes to your locomotive so it will be easier to operate. If you would like to change the settings on your OLC chip, right click the E2. Here you can change the maximum speed, sound, and rate of acceleration. You also might want to no-collide the body of your locomotive as well by pressing C on the body and checking off the no-collide option. Collisions can usually cause lag, and that is no good. 
you can also change the weight of your locomotive by going to the weight tool. I suggest setting the trucks and the locomotive body to the maximum weight of 50,000. And now, you're ready. Thank you so much for following this tutorial. And remember, obey map signals and watch your location at all times.